Good morning guys. Oh my god, I have not vlogged for you guys. My apologies. I'm so sorry. I feel like I gotta start off with that. I feel like I have to start off with that, you guys, because why? Because I've been MIA. It's like I went on maternity leave and now I'm back on maternity leave. I took it by myself. Um anyways. We got moms whooping it up in the kitchen, making us chilaquiles this fine morning. And right? begging your brother. I have to beg him. He comes in and he's like, mm, what are you making? Nah, mother, it's okay. No the way out of the kitchen. I'm eating this. So you're inviting um our dad. What the fuck is that? It's uh, finished it. I bought that. Oh, oh it yeah. looks weird. Good. Okay. In the microwave, Ruben. So Ruben's inviting our pops to his gender reveal, his and Karen's. Our pops. And but it's a problem not because of my mom or his girl because they get on that. It's a problem because he's wild, you guys. He gets too drunk and acts psycho. Yeah, he does not know how to act. I told him he can't he drink. He doesn't know how to act. I told him he can't drink. Good, Ruben, you need to lay the law down on him. He said he's only going to drink a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know what that's going to be. He said he's just going to have a few beers. You know those uncles that, like... You know, like, ¿Por qué me invitan si ya sabe co saben cómo me pongo? That's Ruben, like, you better know what's coming your way, Ruben, because it's going to be bad. Yep. Yep. But anyways, today we have a long day. I'm going to get my nails done, and then I am going to take you all to his uh, checkup appointment. And then that's it. And then Gordo just got back from work. He's a construction worker. Huh, Gordy. Yeah. Gordo? How do you like it? We're gonna go out driving today again. Gordo knows how to drive too now, right, Gordo? Yeah. Or not really? Just not on the freeway? Not on the freeway for now. Yeah, Gordo's doing big things in life. Yeah. He even, okay, we, you guys already know how our Spanish is, but he even can't come back Speaking excellent Spanish. <laughs> yeah, what are those worst in Spanish? Because I don't know what the hell. Our Spanish is my good. mom, when I moved over here to LA, and it was just like him and I, and he wasn't around family too much. And you know, of course, like Ruben's got Ruben's was worse in my Britney's, but Ruben's got better throughout the years of working at his the company he works for. Cause the uh, thing, but. Mexicans are only speak Spanish. That's, a yeah, so that's what we need. Yeah. That's what we need. Mine and Brittany's has also gotten better throughout the years. Yeah. Right, guys? Or no, Ma, what do you think about my Spanish? Well, your Spanish was great when you were little. Go ahead. I don't know what Was happened. Spanish my first language? Yes. I don't want to. It's, it's too early. It's like saying to drink alcohol. It's yeah, like, early. what the fuck? That's too early to drink. Do you know what that. I want for my birthday? I want to go to Cancun. Your birthday's coming up? Cancun, Cancun in October, October is the worst time to go. I know. That's the winter. So we need to go early. <laughs> Maybe July. Oh no. Maybe August. But I need to get Euro his passport. Wait, well, you better start working on it. We're making a vote because it's going to be the doctor. But Cancun, I think we should choose a different one since we've already been there. We should use up our our time wisely at different spots like Puerto Vallarta. Or like somewhere else, like do I this. I want to go to Mexico. That's not there's tropical know. trips everywhere. How about? Oh, it's gonna be a plan. We're taking you to TJ. <laughs> We're taking you to TJ. That's beautiful. Oh, I love Is that all I deserve, son? TJ. Let me go get my son. He's on his swing. Ruben's learning how to be a father. What? Ooh. Hey, cabron. He's three months now, like three and a half months, guys. Okay. <laughs> Are you happy to see your mommy? Yeah? Hola, mi amor. Hola, mi amor. Mi amorcito. He's so happy. He's just happy to be alive. Mommy, mommy. See, he knows his name. Wait. Euro. 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 Hi, mi amor. Yes, so is tu nombre? Ruben, we have to talk to him in Spanish. He's not going to be no sabo kid like you. 
Hi, mi amor. Te llamas Euro. Euro es tu nombre. He looks just like Papa. Everybody always says that. Because of these cheeks, these fat cheeks. Wait. Oh, wait. Porque los cachetes. I was like, how do you say? Cachetes in Spanish. Cachetes. Evi, ¿y tu cabeza? ¿Dónde está la cabeza? Evi. Evi, ¿y tu cabeza dónde está? Don't be like him. Don't be like your brother. He's rude. Okay? No te portes como tu hermano. Daddy. You already eat. Friend. Papa. You got my place. Look at this. Mmm. Yummy. Look at Papa's food. He wants you to look at it. I can't wait to eat. Do you put the kids? They rob the bank? No. They rob the Wells Fargo? Un cabrón tenía 11 años, otro 12. What's up? Y otro, el más grande era 16 years old. What? They robbed the Wells Fargo Bank. I think it was in Houston. Oh. It came out this morning on, uh, on the news. I didn't know that. Of course they got. We just got to Kaiser, guys. We can make the munchkin. He's so cute. He's a boy. The little boy. Guys, he's three and a half months already. That blows my mind. Like, I remember I was so desperate to have him already because I didn't want to be pregnant anymore. And like, it's already three months later, and I'm like, he's growing up on me. So, and you guys, I'm so excited for Ruben and Karen because they have a little munchkin coming along. So it excites me because, like. It, is, it excites me because Euro's gonna have a best friend forever. You guys already know that Evie like, was alone for so long. And the fact that Euro and his baby cousin that's gonna come soon are gonna be best friends forever. Can you guys imagine the Disney dates? Like, they get a ride on rides together and everything. And Evie didn't have that. So it saddens me for my baby Evie. But now Evie has his brother to grow up with. So. I'm just so excited for our family, you guys, because we're expanding the family, and I feel like everybody needs to start having kids, because we're at an age where we need to start having kids, and it, it's literally weird, because people are like, you guys just have kids um, for content, and I'm like, well, we are YouTubers, so we do vlog our life, but that's not the reason why we have kids, we have them because we're at an age where everyone has to start having kids, like, I mean, do people not expect us to have kids at all? Like, we're 30 years old, almost. I need one more year to be 30. But, like, this is the age where everybody starts having kids. So, it's like, what's the problem? Like, that's so weird. I don't know. I never understand. But I gotta fill out this questionnaire. Do you have a story? No, you do it. Here. Yeah. Why so does the mom you always were have to do it? The camera more than doing this. Yeah. Wait, did we start already or what? Yeah. But this is about you. No. The dads can, can sign it too. This is by mom. What does it say? Ha mom, have Little you ever been... Little interest or pleasure in doing things. None at all. No, I'm just kidding. Wait. I really want to put that. No, don't put none at all. Wait. Little interest or pleasure. This is saying if you have little interest oh, in doing things. Yes, I mean, none at all. more put nearly every day. Yeah, uh -huh. I don't like cooking, cleaning, nothing. Please. Just kidding. Put none at all. Oh, well, you're confusing me. Have you ever had thoughts of hurting yourself or others? Yes, Fernando. I want to choke him at night. Oh, I love him to choke him. <laughs> when you're doing tricks. Just what? Babe, you're getting to... This is fit family channel. Please what? Stop. stop talking about choking me. Does he make me laugh? Yes. No. Yes, he, he does. Turn towards the laces. Yes. Make what does that mean? extended huh? coughing sound. This doesn't say coughing. Or cooing. I don't know what that means. Yeah, like, ooh, ooh, ah, like that. Like, baby's up. Push up to elbows when on the tummy. 
push up. Yeah, he does yeah, push up. Yeah, he goes right there. No, he doesn't roll yet, huh? No, yours doesn't roll yet. Fat cheeks. I call him fat cheeks. He does reach for things. Are you tired? Are you stretching? You're at the doctor's. Hi! Oh my goodness! I know, I know, what are we doing? Uh, 43, let's do that one more time. Hi, bud. Perfect. Just adjust that. Hi! You are so cute. Alrighty, perfect. Go ahead and enter this in, and then mommy can pick them up. 17 pounds, zero. So she said this baby's really tall. She said eight or nine months. She said he looked like an eight month old when I came on in. On the graph. On the graph, yeah. That he that he's really tall. I'm like, I always have tall babies. I always have big boys. Yeah. Okay, I didn't really vlog a lot in there, but um doctor, it was so funny. She thought that he was like Eight months. She's like he's a he's like average eight months because of the chart, the growth chart. He's twenty seven inches and seventeen pounds. So she said both of them together is okay. Um, he's just gonna be a big baby. I'm like yeah, that's why I had a complicated birth because he was so big and I had to have a C section. But um, so Yoro does have this thing called torticollis. Basically, um, it's nothing bad. Um, it's just basically, um, when you're always in my belly, there was, like, no room for him to, like, you know, move around and all that. His head was always stuck on one side, like, just like that. So, basically, when he came out of me, his muscles are, like, right? His muscles are... It's just he was used to be positioned like this. Yeah. So, basically, his, his head favors one side only. Um, so if he sleeps, he'll sleep on the side that he favors. So, it's always just like this. And that, so basically the head is like that. So we had to do like these exercises with him and take him to physical therapy where we kind of like um, gently move his muscle right here to start stretching it out so that way he's able to, you know, he, he can move his head both sides and everything. It's just when he sleeps um, or is laying down, he positions it the side that he favors. So um, nothing bad, everything went well, no shots, thank the Lord. Um, but he does have his shots coming up. Soon. So yeah, that was everything about your doctor's appointment. Now I'm gonna get my nails in. Okay, guys. So I just left. I don't know what's been up with my camera recently, guys. But I need to get a new one because, like, it's been being weird. Anyways, I just left my nail appointment. I did this like bubble gum pink white tip. I don't know if you guys can tell. And they're a little bit shorter. Well, they're still long, but not as long as I used to get them. Because I've been liking the more shorter nail lengths recently. Let me know what you guys think. I'm about to go home, though, and I'm going to make shrimp tacos for the family. So I'm excited. Okay, so me and Brittany are going to make shrimp tacos. Thank God for Brittany coming because it's I'm a lot happy. of chopping. It's easy, but it's a lot it's of chopping. It's a lot of chopping. Sure. It's Kylie's shrimp tacos, so recipe. What's well, actually curry cheese? Curry right? cheese. Yeah, but I think she got it from Famous. somewhere else too. So. Yeah. But we just say it's like that because it's what we got it from. So yeah. who cares? Because I'm like, I already know someone's gonna be like, that's, that's not hers. Curry cheese recipe. Yeah. So that's what they do. But yeah. So that. we're gonna go on live right now and see y'all on TikTok. Okay, Karen's here. She was talking. Yeah. Baby, we hope. We're getting practice with you, homie. He's, he's sick, guys. He has stuffy what nose, did she say? but he's happy. He's a happy baby. What did you think about my tacos? Fire. Why are you eating Doritos? I gotta eat the leftovers with chips. Like, whatever. Found You're the, the one plate. that didn't want chilaquiles today. We must chilaquiles because you're like, I can't. I'm on a diet. I know. I'm gonna eat four of them. 
Boy tacos. But well, whenever whenever they make good food, you can't deny it. Like you just oh, gotta. Oh, chilaquiles was good food. No, it was. No, no he denied that. You you risk today's dinner to not you sacrifice um, the chilaquiles yeah, for dinner. He's supposedly fast. Can you cut this for me? I hate cutting it. Come on. I always have gordo to it for me. What's a gordo? Hi. You look so crazy with that hair. Okay, guys, I am ending the vlog here. I forgot to end it, um, but we had a really good night. Heroes back then is um, swing while I'm editing. And then Mo and Evie are currently watching a movie together. Both of the kids are sick with the cold. So we've been dealing with that every night, guys. I'm like so sleepy because me and Fern just have not been getting sufficient amount of sleep. But we did run today, me, Brittany, and Mo. We've been needing to run recently and i've been seeing everybody be running so i'm like let me get on that hype so we actually stepped out into my neighborhood ran me and mo did four miles so we felt really tired and exhausted um but yeah i'm excited for that and then also let me show you guys um Euro's new stroller for disney so i had bought him another one but i just did not like it because it was really heavy and not sturdy so i just saw like these parents at disneyland and i was like oh my god i need to buy it so let me show you guys so this is a stroller um it's obviously for two but you guys can also buy it for one baby um you just buy the second seat if you need um and then i bought the bassinet for it so if we go to disney you know euro can be sleeping in there but for now, he likes sitting back here. And it's cool, you guys, because there's so many ways that you guys can, you know, adjust the seats. If I want to have Euro facing me, I can do it. I can even have Evie facing my way, too. So both car seats or both seats can be facing my way, this way, towards me. But obviously, the kids are bored. They want to be watching, like, the rides and everything. Um, You guys can also buy the car seat attachment for it. If you have a toddler, toddler can ride in the front. Baby in the car seat or the bassinet. So it's such a sturdy um, stroller. It's from Mockingbird. Hello, Mockingbird. It's on my LTK. So if you guys go on my LTK, you'll see everything linked. And then this is the cup holder for it. So I'm excited, guys. I need a Disney date for real, for real. And we set it up. I'm still going to be using his Duna. That's his Duna for the car seat. But when we need both of the strollers or like when we need you know, both the kids to be seating. Um, I will be taking this one for Disney dates because we always go, guys. Since we're, since we are um, Disney pass holders, we go regularly. And Evie's just turned four, and you guys, he can't walk. I know a lot of people have this thing like, let him walk. He's grown already. Like, I'm sorry, but I just, I'm not gonna do that. Like, he cannot walk all day at Disney. Evie, he's, he's still little. I feel like so. Please respect me. Evie is going to be on a stroller until he can't no more. Say goodnight. <laughs> Say goodnight, mommy. Okay, bye, guys.